celebrations in Lotoka uh, today and there were some slight delays there too, so that's a delay. Um, but as you see said that, you know, all things that you wait comes in, comes, uh, what's the saying used? Fruitful. Are fruitful. Uh, just as we wish that this uh, venture, uh, the site on which we are standing here and sitting down here this afternoon, will be extremely fruitful. The, the reality is, ladies and gentlemen, for any economy to do well, for any country to have a strong economic foundation, for any nation to have the citizens of that country enjoy the benefits of economic growth, we must have transparency, we must have removal of systemic corruption, we must have financial accountability, we must create competition. And lastly, but not least of all, we must be able to have an ability to be able to have some level of social responsibility. And unfortunately, and it gives me the occasion to say this, unfortunately in Fiji for decades, both prior to and post-independence, governments have always focused on winning or gaining office on the basis of ethnicity, on the basis of religion, on the basis of provincialism, or any other form of demarcators, that is actually not focused on economic growth. If you look at the focus of the Fiji First Government and the Benim Rama Government, the focus has been to invest in infrastructure. The focus has been to create econo uh, economic opportunities, both for businesses and also individual consumers. Because if we are able to grow the pie, then we don't have to fight for it. The reality has been that in Fiji, the pie has always been small. So people are always scrambling for the same size. So it becomes very easy. If some people are poor, they're not doing well, or some businesses have access to governments other than other businesses, then people will start using ethnicity or religion or other form or, or forms of demarcators like, oh, they're all from Bar, that's why they're getting it, or they're all from Kandabu, or they're all Hindus, or they're all Muslims, or they're all South Indians, or Gujaratis, or North Indians, whatever the case is. We have to move away from that way of thinking. Unfortunately, there are some people who still think like that. If you look at some of the verbiage that's coming out from people, some of the politicians, members of parliament, they're still clinging on to those ideas. If you read social media, if you see the way people are commenting on things, I was actually quite appalled in the recent cycle of Winston there were people who were actually giving out relief supplies based on ethnicity or religion. We should not be doing that. We should not be thinking like that. Because if we create a level playing field for everybody, if we create the business opportunities, if we're able to treat everybody equally in business and as consumers, everybody will benefit. Absolutely everybody will benefit. The reality is, for example, the fact that we are now outsourcing road making benefits Fijian companies. It creates greater productivity, it creates efficiency, it creates more jobs. The fact that we now have the tax free zone extending to Matawalu village on this side of uh, on the bar, uh, bar side of the river means that this site, this business family that have been investing in Fiji for decades 
have been given a leg up to be able to go ahead with this project. That is the outcome of such policies. So we as a country, we as business people, as consumers, must be able to be focused on that. When we hire people, I'm sure when Dials is going to hire people, they'll always want to hire the best people to do the job. So then the factory has greater productivity. In the same way, in government, we have introduced an open merit recruitment system. People are being recruited on the basis of them being the most meritorious people. As you know, previously people were appointed on who they knew, or what connections they had, or ethnic group, or religious group, whatever it was, what province they came from. We've done away with all of that, because we want to be able to deliver the best service. And the only way we'll be able to get the best service is appointing the right people. In the same way, any business person will want to appoint the best people to get product, greater productivity, greater efficiency, to so you reduce your cost base, to so you have greater margins, bigger margins, and you're able to reinvest, as is highlighted by Jay, in your businesses and in, in fact venturing into other businesses. We are very, very glad that this business venture is going ahead. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sort of being a bit reflective because we had the, in the Guinness celebrations today and also yesterday in Albert Park, uh, Dr. Ahmed Ali in the 1970s actually interviewed Girmitis themselves and he got them to tell their individual stories and then he actually transcribed them. So we had uh, stories, we've got some of our staff here who are from Suba. There were six stories that we chose and we had these individual stories read out in the public yesterday and even today in Latoka. Names like Mahadeo, Latpat, Abdul Aziz, and other names. There are six people whose names and their stories were read out. And if you listen to their stories, you actually get to realize, and it actually becomes quite emotional, the trials and tribulations these people went through. How they were whipped, how they were robbed of their dignity, how some people were molested how people were whipped because they had not done something on time. Now, a lot of you, of course, are the descendants of these people. And the reason why you are here is because they persevered. The reason why you are here is because they had an ambition after that. So we have to remember that, ladies and gentlemen. It is very critical that that culture of working hard, of persevering, but also being comfortable with yourself in the history and being true to yourself is very, very critical to create a modern nation state. And we believe from an economic perspective, the government believes that Fiji needs to diversify its economic base. We have been simply too dependent on only tourism and sugar. Thank God that the Cyclone Winston, I know this part of Fiji was affected quite badly, in particular Tavua Ra. If the Cyclone had hit all the major tourism areas, we would have been economically pushed back 30 years. That is the reality. So when your economy is only dependent on one or two things, then you have much greater risk. So our job as government is to mitigate that risk, is to engender a sense of confidence in the businesses to invest in other areas. This steel mills is a classic example of that. So if we have these steel mill, this steel, steel mill exporting more, we get more foreign dollars. We build up our foreign reserves. It creates more jobs. If, for example, there is uh, more contributions by other businesses, then what you call, then you have an economic diverse base. So we're not simply dependent on one or two things. And that's what we must be focused on as a country. That's what we all must be focused on as individual citizens of this country. This is why it is so critical, ladies and gentlemen, for all of us to adhere to and believe in the notion of a level playing field, a common and equal citizenry, so all of us will benefit from it. We are, of course, very supportive of new business ventures and we look forward to the successful completion of the factory that will be built here. We of course look forward to coming for the opening of the factory 
Um, any one of us could be here for that, and we hope that all of us can be here for that. And once the mill is open, obviously, it'll be a great opportunity for bar. Bar people are obviously known, very well known for the enterprising um, ability. Uh, many people have said, of course, bar, which is a very rich cane growing area, a lot of freehold land in bar too. Uh, this is why you know the banks were able to venture into bar and they use the lands for mortgage purposes. But bar has become a, a hallmark, a destination, and indeed a, a impetus for a lot of uh, business ventures that have commenced in bar and of course spread to other parts of, of Fiji. We would like to uh, thank the Dial family for the uh, investments in Fiji. We'd like to also thank them for starting up this uh, site. We look forward to successful completion. We of course will try and uh, uh, create as many opportunities for them as possible, like we do with other businesses. I know the issues, for example, with FEA. I think there are many other businesses that do that. But we are looking at how we can uh, alleviate some of these issues by carrying out some of the structural reforms that we are doing. So uh, thank you once again for the investment of the Dial family. Uh, the government is here uh, to support all of these businesses, in particular local businesses. I'd like to all wish all of you a, a wonderful afternoon, but I'm sure all of you uh, together uh, would like to wish the Dial family all the best. And please put your hands together for them. For having Thank you very much. Thank you.